Good morning, everybody. We wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update. I'm sure you guys were expecting the uh, the wrap up video from Water Park Week. I wanted to tell you guys we filmed that video like like three times, yeah. and it's just not <laughs> turning out the way that we thought it was going to turn out, or the way that we wanted. It's not. It it's turning out. It's not as we envisioned it. Right. And so we're having a bit of an issue. I don't even know. You know, it's one of those things when you blog and like the words just don't come out right. It's one of those. <laughs> well, and it's, it's also like we're trying something that's a little bit different format than we normally do. Yeah. And so we had this like amazing idea of like, okay, here's how it should be and this is how it should look. And then we filmed it and we're like, oh, that's not, that's not what I thought it was going to be. Right. And yeah. so we tried it again and it was still like, eh, it's not, that's not, that's not good. And so <laughs> we're still working on it. And we wanted to let you guys know, don't worry, it will come out. Yeah. But yeah. we just need a little bit more time to like get it right. I think what it is is that we don't want to put something out that we don't love. Like we don't, I, I would much rather take a little extra time on this video and make it right than to just put out something that's sort of like okay or like so-so mediocre. Um, we want to make sure that we're putting in all the information for you guys and like yeah. there's just a lot that goes into it. So. And especially after I like I tweeted like, oh, what do you guys want to know? There was a lot yeah. more things that I thought there was going to be. So right. I had to change a few things up. Yeah. So um, be on the lookout for that video. It will be out sometime. Um, I don't know when. Yeah. As soon as we get it done, we'll put it out. Right. Yeah. So we, we just didn't want to leave you guys hanging without a video at all. So. So we decided to go to... Disney Springs! Yeah, we haven't been there in a minute and we wanted to show you guys some of the uh, construction update, like progress with some of the Edison and you know, all the other stuff that we've been sort of showing you guys throughout the months while it's yeah. being built. Also, I have a little bit of a ulterior motive because I want to go to Sephora. Oh. So, <laughs> so we're gonna do that too. Yeah, so let's do it. Yeah. Welcome to Disney Springs! Actually, more specifically, oh no, we tried to move out of their way and then they came this way. <laughs> They're like not heading towards the exit. More specifically, the parking garage at Disney Springs. One thing that I wanted to mention because we've been looking at electric cars and plug-in hybrids recently is that Disney has 14 spots that you can charge your electric car. Six of them are here at Disney Springs, three in each garage, but they're all up on the top level out in the open. So you don't get yeah. the benefits of being in a garage. Well, it's kind of silly. It is silly. Yeah. And then the other one is like four at Epcot and four at Animal Kingdom. So, I don't know how you can actually use your plug-in car at Disney in any way, shape, or form, because it I, seems very inconvenient. Maybe it'll be easier as time progresses, like yeah. maybe they'll install more. Yeah. It would, it would be smart of them to install more. And speaking of theme parks and plugging in your hybrid, Universal has four spots, but they're in the valet area, which are free, but you have to pay for valet, or have a pass that includes valet. But you still have to tip valet, so you're still paying. Right. But, but I don't know yeah. if they, they I don't know if they actually park your car for you because you have to plug it in. I wouldn't trust them to plug in my electric car. I guess yeah, that's true. This is all stuff that do any of you guys have electric cars and do you use them at Universal Orlando? Yeah. Also, when did we get uh, lights on here? Ooh. These haven't been here before. This is like a new Tron escalator. Tron coaster confirmed. Yeah. Heading down to Sephora in the rain. You okay? I just hit my glasses into my throat. <laughs> okay, so we just spent some time in Sephora for Jen's channel. Like we filmed a video for Jen. It was like Jen shopping at Sephora. But and then I, I'm gonna do my Sephora haul after. I tried to get real artsy with it. <laughs> I don't know how it turned out, but we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Just passing by Blaze Pizza here, and we did find out that Blaze has some competition coming to the Disney area. Oh yeah. It's gonna be in celebration. Pizza Press is coming, which is our favorite quick fire pizza place from California. So good. It was right across the street from Disneyland, and yeah. now there's gonna be one sort of across the street from Disney World. Disney World's so big, there's nothing really across the street. Right. You have to like go out around the block and down the corner and a mile and a half away. Correct. Then you'll get to Pizza Press. Once again, I will reiterate, if you are looking for a nice and secluded bar in Disney Springs, go to Stargazers, because for some reason, nobody goes there, but it's always open. It opens at like 11 a.m. and goes until two, and nobody's ever in there. Oh my goodness, they changed the hours on me. I'm trying to keep you guys up to date with the best places to go and I don't read the signs. And of course now, 
Stargazers opens at four. They must have renegotiated their contract. Oh no, it's dripping here. Well, I mean, it makes more sense for them to open later. Yeah, it definitely does. Money-wise for the company. The two most themed stores in Disney Springs, Star Wars Galactic Outpost and Marvel Superhero Headquarters. Before, this wasn't allowed to say Marvel, but I think they worked something out because it's not a theme park. They can say it now. Do you see that? The spider signal. I'm just kidding. This is for Spider-Man Homecoming. They've got a lot of new merchandise. Oh, I like the little shirt. Oh yeah, look, it says Homecoming, Queens, New York. I like this. The, what's his name? The Falcon? The Birdman? The Birdman. Harvey Birdman? Is that his name? I don't remember <laughs> what his name is, but leave me a comment down below what his name is. I think it's the Raven. Ooh, they're making candied apples that look like Mickey Mouse. Oh, well, you can see some back there. Just looking at the candy cauldron, and I noticed this window over here. With all of the different styles of candied apple. It's kind of neat. Just looking down here at Disney Quest, and we know that its last day is this Sunday, which is the 2nd of July. And down here at Cirque du Soleil, the White Building, which its last day is December 31st. And we're not sure if they're replacing the entire thing or if it's just getting a new show. Disney Quest, on the other hand, we know that it is closing forever and being replaced with an NBA experience. I'm not 100% sure, but I feel like I heard something recently that we're getting a new Wolfgang Puck restaurant too. From what I've heard, I think that it's gonna be a steak restaurant, which would be really interesting because STK is right up here. And if you have two high-end steak restaurants, aren't that like direct competition with each other? Like, well, but Boathouse steps? is a steak restaurant too. Oh. So it's like... It's true. So maybe it'll do good. Yeah. Just came out here by Characters in Flight to have a look over at the progress on Edison. And it looks like they're doing some work up there and getting things done. The last time we were here, it looked like work had kind of gone stagnant. But as you can see, there are people working on it today. I don't know though, it kind of looks like the front is still kind of stagnant. Everything looks exactly the same as it did the last time that we came here. I can tell they are doing some work on the roof, but other than that, it looks exactly the same. Work continues on the Savannah Bee Company storefront. I think they still have the kiosk off around the corner over here, but they're still working on the storefront. It looks like there is a lot of progress on Wine Bar George since the last time we were here. They're starting to go vertical. I kind of want to make the bet that Wine Bar George will open before the Edison. A couple of folks getting ready to go in an Amphicar. Here they go. Boathouse has its own gift shop called the Boutique. And they've got these little rubber ducks over here. And I love this. It's like a Yoda one. It says, Spa Wars, may the bath be with you. And they have a Pirates of the Quackabean. <laughs> I love puns. I like this pillow. It says caffeine. <laughs> uh, cap anchoring. They just started selling like dresses and stuff in here. Oh. It's Tommy Bahama. I like the comical size of the clasp on your uh, on your purse. What is that? I feel like I'm like a nanny or something. What is this? I don't know, but it's gigantic and I love it. Let's see. What's in there? Mm. Oh, red just stuff. Red paper. <laughs> That's what I keep in my purse. They have a Top Gun themed tea towel. That's amazing. One thing I have noticed today being here, I haven't been here in a minute, um, there's no breeze. Oh yeah. Like the, there, there's so many small walkways, like what we're walking through right now. It's just stagnant heat. Yeah. It's so hot. Like this is miserable. Not I would recommend not coming here on the hottest day. Um, it's just not, it's not cool enough here. It also just rained for a little bit, so that doesn't help with the humidity at all. Yeah. So right across from Paddlefish is the current location of the Savannah Bee Company. And I think that they had a lot of issues with bees coming in, like real bees, to get to their honey. So they had to go and get a storefront rather than having this little outdoor kiosk. Portillo's has closed and gone under renovation. I think it's gonna be an entirely new restaurant, which is kind of sad because this is where Michael Eisner and Jim Henson sat down and signed the Muppet deal over to Disney. Dang, what a piece of history. We still have yet to try Paddlefish. Have any of you guys tried it? If so, leave me a comment down below what you thought of it. I think like for me personally, why I haven't been really pushing to try it is because every review that I saw was bad. Yeah. And I think it was because they were just not ready for the crowd. Um, I don't know, what do you guys think? Dang, the sun was all, like behind the clouds for a little bit, but now it's come out. Man, it's a rough day out here. It's, it's stagnant, hot. Yeah. hot, and humid too. Oof. Ooh, I feel like this is a good pool day. Yeah. That's what I'm feeling like. Right? I already feel like I've been in the pool. I'm soaking wet with sweat. Passing by Cooks of Dublin, and they've got a sign out front that says "Famous Fish and Chips." Like, who made it famous? 
I've never heard of them before other than here. Well, why is it famous, Fish and Chips? Well, is there a Cook's in Dublin? Oh, that's a good question. It's probably famous there. Oh. The springs here are still just as beautiful as the day that they opened. I want to go swimming in there right now so bad. But unfortunately, you can't go swimming in these springs. They're just for show. I really wish you could. It would be mass pandemonium though if you could. There's the sign, Cirque du Soleil. Last show, see it now. Be oh, okay. I don't know if any of you guys are real big fans of sneakers, but right here is the trophy room. And this is owned by Michael Jordan's son, and they've got all kinds of interesting shoes and sneakers and stuff in there, especially Jordan's. I feel like they should have those sprayers out like they do at the water parks here so that we can cool off because we're already soaking wet with sweat, so what's a little bit of extra water? <laughs> yeah. All right, we're headed off through the garage. We're all done here in Disney Springs because it was just a little bit too hot for us. So with that being said, we are off, and I will see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.